Hi everybody, it's Megan Covington, extrasensory luminary, here with Sonia Sunheart. I call her Rogue because she's rogue, like the rest of us are. <laughs> Just doing our thing and doing our jam, right? So today is Valentine's Day, right? So yeah. it's, it's kind of a twisted holiday because some people freaking hate it and some people love it and some people don't think shit about it. So, but regardless of what you think, we're here to talk about how love is impacting us right now. Right? Yes. Love that, that word. Yeah. Love is the way and the frequency. And there's so many downloads recently that I've been having in my heart chakra of uh, just like feeling moments of bliss and expansion and interconnectedness uh, as we're like in this ascending spiral of our evolution as, uh, as a whole, as, a, as humanity, as one, you know? And, uh, and that's really incredible. And sometimes daunting because the ego and the separate self is like, oh my God, you know, it's like this uh, dissolving. And so it's, uh, for me, the love frequency is, it's just, it's what creates worlds and universes and people on the planet. So, <laughs> so I just find that uh, that's, it's really great. We hadn't planned to have, actually, we, we wanted to do a video these last few weeks and we just haven't been able to schedule it. So I'm super grateful that we're both uh, here today on Valentine's. Right. I know. <laughs> Giving us some Pleiadian and Lemurian love to each other. Yeah. <laughs> Feel my heart chakra. Here's some yes. source love. For and you. I just realized the Anahata is the heart chakra. And the symbol for it is actually the two triangles, like the... Uh, the star of David. So you have one triangle, you know, the, the masculine, the feminine, and they meet at the heart center, which is the bridge between, you know, the lower third dimension and then the fourth dimension, the fourth chakra, and then the higher. So just to like, just like these visuals that come in and then it's like, oh, wait, that's also the symbol on the heart chakra. And that's also the Merkaba. And that's also fire and water. And that's also Metatron. And that's also the tree of life. You. And it's like, oh my God, you yeah. know, downloads. It's like nonstop. Yeah, it's yeah. us. It's yeah. source. It's the light. It's your light body, right? How you turn, how you twist, how you're aligned, how you're balanced, how mm -hmm. you love. Yeah. How you don't want to love. How yeah. you choose to experience. Right? Yeah, yeah. Right? And Yes, right? Yeah. Right. I was like, right. Isn't it fun to like have someone that says, yeah, yeah, I agree with you, you know? But then love is also like, oh, actually, I don't agree with you, but I love you anyways. But right. I really can't see that perspective and I actually don't like it. And I don't think I'm going to take it into my own, you know, sense of perception or reality or truth or. You know, or uh, I don't like it, but why don't I like it? Like, maybe I need to meditate on it. And why is it triggering me? Or like, there's something there, right? So right. sometimes love is also those people and those situations that are like showing us what we don't want. And then what we don't want to look at. Right. And then aligns us more with what we do want. And so we can just go get better and better and and higher and higher and, and, uh, you know, to what, to what, and then where are we going, uh, in all, like we're, we're, I don't know. I don't know. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> where we're going is the more you align with your heart in, t in unconditional love, which is source love, you're aligning with your multidimensional selves everywhere, right? Cause what you do here, your boots on the ground, I'm sure are, people have heard that a thousand times, but your boots on the ground here, but what you do there affects you everywhere, wherever you are, you know, cause you're having all these experiences simultaneously in different aspects of yourself of source. Um, so how do you want to create? Do you want to create in love or not? Right. I know I've talked about this before, but, um, yeah, because it's, especially lately, and I, I, I'm sure that there's a lot of people talking about like Pleiadian transmissions and, you know, these love transmissions that are coming through. These are you people. These are us. These are this, these are, these are other aspects of self, right? 
So, rem- yeah. you know, leaving you synchronicities or breadcrumbs or saying, Hey, you still have family here too. You're there, but this isn't just where you're at. You're, you're in all these other places too. So yeah. 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 That's, that's all. That's amazing when you start to connect those dots as well. And, and like seeing that for me, a lot symbology has always been big. So like the crop circles and I've always had a connection to, to those types of, uh, information codes i guess and uh and also yeah because it's all codes basically you know it's all it's the the, this is it's like information and uh and we're here to and so we can play around and get distracted in in the third dimension constantly which you know which i do which yeah we all do we all do that when it's we're here to have fun and to enjoy our earthly experience that's what also you know tantra is about it's about like experiencing this embodiment fully but knowing yourself as a divine uh, being and then knowing everybody else as a divine being even if they can't see it you see them as those beings and and then that you know it just uh, it's just so much better to see it like that than to say oh my god that fucking idiot you know or whatever <laughs> like it's just because that's, that like lacks compassion and but sometimes there's days where it's like oh my god I can't believe I'm part of this race you know and it's like but that love you got to bring it always back always back into well love wants to know itself through you so why don't you be the living example of what love is you know in in every day and every way and every interaction so right yeah source has- I like it's like we're cameras and we're yeah the the heroes of our own journey of our movie and it's like how are you going to be interacting with uh you know with 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 everyone in every situation which is like you were saying it's it's you it's it's you're 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 creating this whole thing so right right and even in love you can still give a good bitch slap in love to people because sometimes, and I, from my own personal experience, it doesn't matter how your awareness is expanding and how you're growing because we're always doing that. But I, I need a good bitch slap from time to time too, you know. And and it, when you get it from someone that's doing it in love, not out of ego, not even it's not a control or jealousy or any of those you know emotions. It's more out of like, hey, you're being a fucking idiot. Are you listening to yourself right now? Are you responding? Are you reacting? what are you doing and what is it that you're trying to accomplish this? Are you trying to feed on that person's energy, Megan, because you're trying to control a situation or can you step back because you don't have to feed on people's energy. Humanity is doing that constantly to one another. We are feeding on each other with wars and sex abuse and even emotional abuse, you know, physical abuse. When you can go outside, when you're living in that um, heart-based, unconditional love, like see the trees as the beauty that they bring, you know, as you being them and them being you. And I always bring up nature because it's so relatable. Like a lot of people can't do that with people, right? Um, But you can do with animals, but you, uh, you just, like what happens with me is I'll feel a connection and literally it feels like a connection of a wave of warmth and I feel it like wrap around me, but I feel myself do the same thing and I don't feel separate from, from it. Like I don't feel like Megan and I don't feel like the tree. I feel like everything. And that's how we're, I mean, that's how we're supposed to feed our energy is through everything that we experience, but not take it out of control. We want to create more life. We want to create more love. We want to create more unity, you know, not continue to keep taking out of control. No, you know? Yeah. And the opposite of, of, of what nature is, is this beautiful, you know, creator of diversity and that, you know, like those trees, there's like how many types of trees and all the different types of bark and all the different leaves. And I mean, we could spend like an eternity just like looking at this whole creation and this, this kingdom, you know, that was created for us, through us, and, and that we're supposed to be the stewards of, and, and that none of it, you know, it's like, it's all to be enjoyed, and to be in awe, and wonder, like we are as children, you know, when you see, like, a frog hopping, you see children, they're like, oh my god, they're so excited, you know, and it's like, I, I, I'm still like that, that's why I had to be <laughs> nature, 
because I'm like, I want more of this. And not only that, but I want more people to experience this again in a way, because with technology and with our, our, I mean, I'm not dissing technology. We're using no, it. Right yeah. It's a beautiful tool. I love it. And it's, if it, like anything, if it gets too much, then people are losing touch with reality. I mean, look at people on their cell phones waiting for a bus or on a bus or, or it's like, there's this, the other day I saw in the sky, this like, obviously a ship, like this rainbow laser beam on, a, on like a, a 90 degree angle. And it was doing this amazing thing in the sky. And I was like, oh my God. And I'm looking to see if anyone's seeing this and nobody's looking up. Everybody's looking at their phones, you know, and that, that to me is, is very dangerous because that's a whole artificial intelligence overlay of, of a certain reality being, you know, kind of being pushed and like that potential is being fed. And then there's an organic ascension process of us like understanding ourselves as nature, as the created beings and the creator beings like right. it's a, as within, so without and all of that. Right. right. So, so yeah. So just having all that, uh, just realizing like, okay, we need to, and, and kids, you know, work with kids, like have them, they, they, they're the ones coming in, they, they're going to be teaching us a lot, but just not getting them overly, yeah, wired and, and on technology and re reconnecting to the wonder. That's why I, I, you know, I've decided to recreate my, my life here and, and create this regeneration oasis that, that I'm very, uh, you know, that, that came down as like something that I need to be contributing. And, and I have a lot of love for this place that found me or I found it. I don't know, but anyways, <laughs> we found each other and or both each other. Yes. And, and it's just, um, yeah. And it, and it, it meant leaving behind a lot of, uh, of safety and getting a lot of, you know, people not understanding what I was, you know, they're like, it's all part of it, right? It's like your own journey. It's like, you don't expect others to understand what you need to be doing and who you need to be stepping into, into your higher self, because most people just right now can't do that, but it's, it's, you know, it is all shifting rather quickly. And as we know, it's, we're in this like ascension process and we need to be the embodiment of the new world and 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 the the higher dimensional states of being and creating those environments that will be able to help people on that path of you know i love i yeah i love what you just said um we're saying also all of that but about the frogs and the kids right because every time it, when you watch kids with that example they're watching the frog jump jump and they're screaming but if you pay attention to them, there's, I get all excited just because I see it in my head, you know, and um, they're jumping, but they're screaming. It's like they see every jump as the first jump. Mm. It's exciting and wondrous every single time. Right. Mm. And then, you know, they'll go to something else and it's the first time, but then they'll go back to the frogs and they'll notice something else because they're always in wonder. Right. Yes. And that is something like I've worked with, um, like one of, one of my higher selves, cause we have many, right. But this, um, particular higher self of mine, I tend, I ignored her a lot, a <laughs> lot. And, um, she's freaking the bomb because she's just like a kid, but she's so like a goddess and she's a badass. And, but she was all of these things that I am. And I was, and I projected outwardly when I was a child and then just stuffed it under the rug when you started getting societal beliefs or, you know, indoctrinated things into you through society or rather it be family or school or work. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> school. <laughs> <Woo -hoo>! um. <laughs> yeah. That's why our school systems needed to, anyways, it's happening. That's a whole other topic, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. But to really start to connect back with that, your, the aspects of you that you feel like weren't okay to be displayed, those are your higher selves, you know, whether you want to admit it or not, it doesn't matter if it's your higher self that's more like, I'll say the destructor or the not, you know what I mean? So it's just, it's connecting the love within yourself, all aspects of yourself. 
which mm. in turn is all aspects of your multidimensionality as well, right? But again, I've said this a million yeah. times, it's the kid energy, it's the innocence, but it's the strength, right? It's, um, it's a wonder and an elegance and a grace and it's a... Um, a non-attachment, like you said, it's like you can build that castle and then stomp all over it mm-hmm. and both, both are equally pleasurable, you know? It's yeah. like I love creating, but then, okay, well, that's done, you know? And now it's time to build something else or move. Uh, and I feel that like... That's our essence as creators is to just, you know, we see that in the Tibetan mandalas with the sand and it's non-attachment because basically, so children have that. They're so in the moment. And, you know, that's why I I wanted to have another child after like, you know, almost 15 year gap between my, my two, the two of them. And it's like that wonder and that, that pleasure and that that spontaneity and it's like and but the thing is you don't have to have a child to give yourself an excuse to (laughs) to to go there but you know on some level maybe I did but anyway she she's she's her own download she's she's my like soulmate on such a deep level her her name is Stella Sophia and um you know, means star wisdom. And I was just coming to so, so many realizations at that moment after, at that time in my life, you know, when, when, uh, when she was conceived and after a mystery school and ayahuasca ceremony in, in the Amazon jungle with like indigenous people. And it's just like, like just one thing after another. And then she, she came in and she, you know, she, I can feel she's my ally and she's my, um, she's my supporter. She's the one that gets what I'm doing, you know, like, uh, like most people don't. And, but that doesn't, I mean, that should never stop us from, you know, stepping into what we need, what we feel we need to be doing. But sometimes it's hard when you're even your closest, you know, family members, or they might not, they don't get you. And then they might even resent you and you might be called selfish and all these things. And it can be a uh, very painful and lonely moments. And I went through that, you know, with, uh, with my own uh, separation and my older, my two older daughters and all that. So on a personal level, but again, it's like, because it's, it's all part of the journey. It's like, it, I know it's all going to come around and things will get better and better with time. But at you know, sometimes we do have those moments where we're like questioning, was that the right path? Am I doing the right thing? And then, you know, and why are so many people not understanding and criticizing? And, but, you know, that's often, that is part of the journey. And you have yeah, to- yeah. Mm-hmm. And the, and, and sometimes the hurt that can come with that when they lash out at you and then your head gets in the way of like, maybe I have done something wrong, or maybe that was not a good decision. But this is, Thing, there's no wrong decision and um back to like your heart like if you're guided to do something it, it you're just pulled to do it and it with my experience has been that it doesn't hardly ever make sense <laughs> no not on a rational not Mm-mm. the mind is going what are you out of your mind mm-hmm. and you're like I guess I am yeah. but somehow I need to do this and that's where the guidance comes in and that's where tuning in directly, then you can't doubt yourself, you know, and, and, but we do. And, and that clarity sometimes, you know, there's, it's such a, uh, an uncomfortable place to be, but then again, that's, that's where we're at right now too, because we're, we have a a foot in, in like kind of the third dimension and then we're flying off into higher dimensions and then we're bringing back information and then we we're, we're trying to make it fit into this reality. And yet this reality is kind of quicksand on some level because the old is falling apart, but the new isn't actually born yet. So, I mean, it is on it, it all in that zero point and it's all there. And we know that on a, on a deep level but then it's like okay now decipher this and 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 then try to um yeah make it make sense in your world and then perhaps share it like like we're doing right now by sharing what you know whatever we're talking about (laughs) yeah what we're talking about and anyways anyone who like i've said that before if you don't resonate just go somewhere else you know but (laughs) but that's my own protection of like whatever. And it's like, and it's true. I mean, I do that. I listen to something and it doesn't resonate. It's like, click, 
click it off. It's that easy, you know? Right. So, um, and there's- Creators one- gonna hate, creators gonna create. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah for sure. And I, I, yeah. yeah, creators gonna create. No matter what, you know? And uh, if it's being asked of us as, as a, yeah, it's not a test, but ultimately, yeah, it's like, in a way it is, it's, it's almost like a, going through initiations and initiations and until like, you, you know, I mean, it, until you don't maybe need them so much anymore because you, you're in a certain frequency or something. Like, yeah. Vibration or, or, yeah. And, and one thing that I've really been going through a lot more is being more connected to my higher selves. And, you know, I have uh, so much appreciation for the people around me that have really facilitated me to, to step in deeper with my higher selves as my, my, like I have my, you know, the Elohim, you know, I have them. I love them. I, I love these essences. Right. And, but connect with yourself, connect with yourself, be your own voice. And then you can pull in these, these other, these other beings or these other essences or these other souls that incarnated, whether it was Jesus or Mary or Buddha or, you know, um, green Tara or Hey source. Hey, how about source? Let's talk to source. Do you know what I mean? So, but know yourself, know yourself. And by me starting to communicate more with, um, myself more than other beings outside of me, it has amplified and made that connection with them even stronger. Because you, when you go within, you're working on, and not even just working, but you're clearing out things that you think you are, or you think you believed yourself to be, you know, like, oh, I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. These people are so great. You don't think that Jesus had shit fits here? Yeah. <laughs> You know, I mean, and also had like a somebody or a few very close people that, yeah, that if you do feel like bawling your eyes out and like, you know, someone's going to hold you and someone's going to, and if you have that, you know, you can, and you're allowing that other person saying like, listen, I have certain weaknesses and, and that's been, that's really hard for me on some level. There's something very, uh, you know, proud and stoic, like that is part of my nature. And not many people have seen that side of me, you know, except just a few very, very close uh, (laughs) people and they know who they are. Yeah. And speaking of love, you know, because I think that that's the, um, you know, the thing about uh, even being more intimate with someone or being like somebody who can see your spectrum of the darkness and the, 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 you know, those fears come up and then your bright light and, 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 you know, knows those two or those like multiple beings on, cause we're looking at this way, but then we have our, our also this way of, you know, the dark and the light, which is like what we're integrating our shadows, you know, just as, as we came in with them, that's why um, the gene keys are super interesting. And also astrology, like these are, when, when we say know thyself, it's like, well, what, what did you come in with? Not only your ancestral line and all that, but like as in the human ancestors, but then we have our higher ancestors and, and then, but like, what about your mapping, your star map of like what you came here to transcend for humanity, you know? And the gene keys are amazing that way. Like Richard Rudd wrote them uh, like a download and they're linked with the I Ching. And, uh, and I was reading up on, uh, you know, even the Mayan calendar and the, 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 the codons and the upgrades that we're going through with, with where we're, we're heading in, in, the, in, in the galaxy and the photon belt and everything and what's going on with our sun, you know? And so these are like ancient prophecies that we're like, we're in it right now. We are entering, we're, we're in that place of, massive transformation and dna upgrading and so our shadows are turning into our gifts it's like we're learning to become the alchemists of transmutation of our shadows into our gifts and then our cidic levels the cities which are like our superpowers as like these super master avatars right so it's like woo like and now we're we're like fluctuating between those and some of them are are already very high others are still like 
So it's a fascinating map to look at and also um, astrology too, but that's like, and then the star seed astrology, like we mentioned uh, sun soul astrology with uh, Maru Matu, like she, she's mm. really, if you want to know more about your star seed, uh, um, you know, what you're made of on that level, she can do that, which is like amazing. Like I didn't even know the word star seed until probably a year and a half or two years ago maximum, you know, and I didn't, I didn't really understand that. Uh, and yet my daughter was Stella Sophia. So right. it's like some things you, you just know what you don't know. And it's like, so, so you know, but you don't have the awareness at that time. Right. Yeah. I know. I love Maru. And I think uh, I like Maru and I also like um, Carrie Ann, the quirky Cosmo. They, they jam that, sh they jam it out in such a beautiful way. Now the way they explain it, I filter it and see it a different way. And it's so cool to see how we all get the same, same information, translate it differently, can apply it in different ways. That's why we're drawn to going to seeing different people to do readings or astrology or, and you know, any energy work of that, you know, nature or whatever. So it's, it is fascinating. It's incredibly fascinating to keep your mind open to the possibilities that you're so much more than just this body because you're not just this body. Nope. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. And yeah. that whole, you know, this whole thing with photons and the quant, like what, how fast the quantum, uh, like metaphysics and the, the quantum uh, information, it's like we're in an exponentially learning high, high paced time right now. So when we tune in, we tune into that as well. Like we don't have to necessarily watch uh, or read so many books anymore, or do all that because because the consciousness is evolving so quickly that we, we can get these downloads and that's what's, but that's where we need to uh, find that balance of not overloading too, because let's say an, uh, someone who's Aquarian is going to be like, let's say you have a lot of Aquarius in your chart in astrology, like you're going to be really drawn to all of this information, but to a point where you might just overdose and forget about your body. <laughs> and so you know, the body is important and thank, you know, it's such a, it's we, yeah, important. And <laughs> it's that it all goes together. It's that worshiping of, of, of what, that we, what, what we're created from. And uh, when we neglect that, or if we don't take care of that, that's, you know, that's just, uh, it's just a sad scenario. Yeah, because our bodies have so many information, so much information time. I mean, from the earth and all the elements, it's not like it's just you. It's so much more than that. It's the elements of the earth. It's the elements of the ancestors. It's the elements of the galactics. You know what I mean? So your body is incredibly important because it's the vessel to bring the information that you want to bring here for now. So that number one place to love or number is really ourselves like knowing ourselves loving ourselves knowing ourselves and amplifying that and then where that takes us you know is just uh, and then if you're with uh someone or you know your partner or whatever and they're also doing their own uh work on you know transmutation of their shadows and you know and self-love and self-care and it's just and it's amplifying well then when you know that energy that third energy that gets created together can be like you know, out of this world, right? So that's, uh, that's something on Valentine's that we can keep in mind. <laughs> right. Whether you're doing your own self love, or you're expressing it with another person, or, or maybe other people or whatever, like whatever your thing is, you know, um, it's just like fascinating that we're, we're in those times now of like high liberation on, you know, that it's okay to love yourself. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Because yeah. that's exactly it. It's okay to love yourself. Yeah. There's this book I used to read to my daughter and um, my son when they were little. And it's like, um, it's okay to be me. Mm. I love that because it's okay to be you. It's more than okay. It's perfectly perfect to be you. Yeah. It, whether you want to call it your faults or not, your strengths or your weaknesses. Because guess what? Your strengths are, are your weaknesses and your weaknesses can be your strengths. How do you want to use them? How do you want to facilitate them in your life? You know, so it's, um, it's just the way that you want to perceive them and, and use them in your daily life. Right. Express, express that 
that love that you are and and that uniqueness you know that's that's the beauty of it. And then that blows away competition and self-doubt and all these things that actually are create a war and internal uh, chaos, you know, an internal turmoil. And then that gets, exp that's, gets expressed outside in, 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 in all the fluctuations of, of Gaia's. Because the, 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 the information system is happening both ways as her cells, uh, the cells are listening to you know, the, 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 the body, the mother and, but then vice versa. And it's like, one is informing. So we are responsible that, uh, for, for, for ourselves and ourselves <laughs> and that, that whole thing of, you know, with Joe Dispenza and uh, I have his book, the, uh, becoming supernatural, you know, and, but a lot of it is also, I can see the, the, the connection, the patterns with uh, Kundalini yoga, for example, that I teach and I've been, I practice for like nine years and, you know, a lot of it is about breath and, 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 and the flow of energy and opening up the energy centers and, and, and also, um, yeah, stilling the mind so that you can allow the higher mind to come through. And just having those tools and techniques, you know, are, are a great way to, uh, to connect with the self. And there's so many, but they've been my tools. So now I'm like, oh, well, I'm going to offer this because honestly, people, I think, just need to stop the... The, uh, the 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 turmoil the chaos and and find that the the zero point where where from that place you can you can come out and and create and uh, yeah. yeah I just heard give themselves permission to play really loud like people need permission to play yes. Yes. right yeah. Uh, yeah. kids don't I think about it they... body energy like jump on jump around and and dance and like shake it up and like just yeah because that too is like we need to do that we're supposed to sweat every day you know to, to get to rid our, our toxins and everything and how many people are sweating every day i you know and i don't do it every day either like so my life is not and it's friggin cold here it takes <laughs> it takes a lot to sweat <laughs> but that's not an excuse it's because there are days where i go with the lazy flow but uh, yeah, but that's, also that's okay. Days of rest are good yeah. as well. It's like we said, it's balance. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, Hatha yeah. is, uh, ha is, is the sun and Tha is the moon, I believe. So it's like, again, the, the receptive and, you know, it's always the same thing. It's just, you can look at it, yin, yang, male, female. It's like, this is what, this is how this place is created. And, and we just have to constantly bring it into that place. And uh, yeah. And, and be grateful for this beautiful experience. And to be alive in these times, you know, it's like, oh my God, I'm so glad I signed up for this. <laughs> exciting. Yeah, yeah. Super finally, exciting. Finally, finally, now for me, it feels like, okay, finally, now I can kind of see the whole, the whole and, and be part of it and, uh, and express that from my own perspective and that's what we're doing right now and it feels so comfortable with you to do that <laughs> i know it's easy right yeah with us it's easy yeah that's why we uh that's why we're doing this too to mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so sonia we're gonna wrap up our little quick valentine's talk but i am looking forward to you playing your gong for <laughs> us for the heart chakra correct yeah, well, this is, uh, this is my little instrument uh, that I use um, as a sound healing tool. And also after yoga, it's known often uh, in Kundalini yoga that we use it as because it's, it's kind of like the, the sound of the center of the universe. We could see like, and they have different uh, vibrations. So you can get a gong that, that is, uh, has the frequency of certain planets. And this, this one is called the Dream Gong, and it's actually calibrated to the frequency of Gaia. So I, uh, I, really, I really love it, and I use it for myself, for my own you know, calming moments, and actually it builds uh, a rhythm that accelerates and, and can build and build and build, and then like, has at the end like a big eruption, you know, kind of like... A <laughs> like an orgasm. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, um, it's like yeah, a cosmic a, a cosmic bang, you know, the <laughs> cosmic bang. Mm -hmm. So it's like some call it also the 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 instrument of God and like it's it's a powerful powerful tool. So um so yeah, I'm going to I'm going to play a just a little quick one but cuz it can take I've never done it on camera either but uh <laughs> but that's okay. Look, I just first. 
Yeah, it's a Valentine's. Talking about Valentine's uh, love and and the frequency of love. If you know, we can uh, think of the Big Bang and uh, <laughs> the Big Bang, and you're popping your cherry for the first time on camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> But uh, here we go. This is a 22-inch <laughs> green gong. <laughs> You're crazy. That's why I call you nut. <laughs> <laughs> we have our, our nicknames for each other. <laughs> yep. Rogan so, nut. Rogan nut. Yeah. So there's no... Uh, I did take a weekend training uh, but uh, on how to play. But I think most of it is very intuitive and just remembering... Because sound, you know, sound, cymatics, that's another thing if you look at uh, creation and how vibration creates matter, like forms it, you know. So we have light and we have sound. And I think these combinations are the... Uh, <sighs> But yeah, it, it can take a while to warm up and to get into it. So, but it's just, uh, just wanted to uh, express that. And if you, if you do hear about sound healing with crystal bowls and uh, at a very powerful winter solstice event, and it's just, it's a great way to, uh, to get ourselves to align also to these frequencies and, uh, and calm ourselves down and just get into that creator mode. And so sound, sound healing baths and all that are, are really, really beneficial to us. So, so there, and then. Oh. <laughs> that was a quickie. That was a, yeah, very quickie. But. <laughs> Hey, there's nothing wrong with quickies. No, no, once in a while, but uh, <laughs> I create universes. Well, who knows? There might be all kinds. There's quickies, there's longies, there's... <laughs> there's longies? <laughs> there's ones that go on for a long time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so have fun, everyone, on Valentine's. Have a great Valentine's, everybody. And even if it's not Valentine's when you're watching this, love is every day, as we know, and it's a frequency to align with, uh, with our hearts and, uh, and our minds will, uh, will bow to the heart. Yeah. And Don't turn. wait for somebody to love you. Love yourself first. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Happy mm -hmm. Valentine's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye.